Okay, picking up where we left off, we have installed the Google sign-in package and the Firebase auth package. We've gone through all the steps that we need to do and we've verified that it runs on our emulator. What we're gonna do now is actually sign in anonymously. So let's go in here, let's go to Firebase, let's go to authentication, let's go to sign in methods. And you'll notice that in my previous testing, I had an authenticated anonymous user. I'm gonna just delete that. And we're gonna to go to sign in method. Anonymous must be enabled. If that says disabled, this will not work. So make sure that's enabled. Then let's flip into our code. First thing we want to do we want Firebase off. We want Firebase off dot instance. And just for good measure, let's do Google sign in as well. There we go. Now we've got a auth and a Google sign in. We're going to go down to our state. Now, I know somebody's asking the question, now, why are you playing around with state? I thought Firebase would handle the state. Well, using Firebase's real-time database and even storage, you can actually have two different states. You can have the state out in the cloud and your local state. It gets a little confusing, but it's actually very simple once you get into it. We're going to initialize our state. Now, why would you want an anonymous sign-in? Well, let's say somebody uses your application and they still need to use parts of Firebase, but they haven't actually signed in yet. There you go. It's the chicken or the egg scenario. We're going to make a sign in anon. Make this async. Did we actually include that? We did not. Let's import that just in case. And just in case, let's also import, don't think we're going to use it, but let's import IO just because. All right, now this is going to be the meat of our program here. We're going to say Firebase user. We want auth. Sign in anonymously. And we're going to say if the user is not null and user dot is anonymous, set state, and let's set our status to. Sign in anonymously. However, if there was a boo-boo, which sometimes things go boom in the internet, we're going to set state and we're going to just simply say the status equal sign in failed. There we go. We also want the ability to sign out. Now, why would you want to sign out an anonymous user? Well, let's say somebody opens your application. They're like, well, I'm not sure if I want to buy it or not. And they're like, I'm really not interested. Well, then sign them out so they can't access any of your resources. Let's call this sign out. There we go. And we're going to await the auth sign out. Set our state. So 
So as you can see, the code itself is actually not very complex. Um, we just simply have a sign in and a sign out, and we're just going to go into here and let's put our status right here. And I want to put a row right underneath this. And we're just going to add two buttons here. And the first one we're going to sign out. Put a comma here and let's grab this. We're going to sign anonymously. And let's run our application and see what this thing does. May take just a second. Not authenticated. We got to sign out, and sign in. So let's go ahead and sign in anonymously. But before we do that, let's look at Firebase. You can see we have no authenticated users here. Let's go back to our emulator and let's sign in signed in anonymously. May have to actually refresh the page. Let's jump back here. Yep, there we go, anonymous. And there is our user use ID. Now the UID is a unique identifier for every user within Firebase. We're provided by the anonymous provider. So if you're wondering what your provider is, it's the sign in method, see the little anonymous icon. And we can go back into the emulator and we can sign them out. See, signed out. Now, if we just kind of refresh this and go out, you see they're still there. Last signed in does not mean they're currently signed. It means the last sign in, but they still have an anonymous account here. So let's actually go here and sign in again. So as you can see, works pretty seamlessly, pretty easily.